Today we're going to talk about Blue Lock Episode 2. <laughs> yeah, we are. So, keep on watching. Mukhang may init ang eksena ng anime nito. We're just two episodes in. But, let's not get ahead of ourselves, guys. First order of business is the thumbnail. Our main protagonist Isagi looks at the first team. Uh, his team's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go battle it out for bottom line the right to become Japan's best striker. Judging from the look on his face, right, right here in the thumbnail, I'd say, oh boy, na ang pagka demonyo ng isabing ito, na 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 bida ng anime na ko, and. Uh, I'm still not used to that look on his face, okay? I've already seen the pilot, and he's had that look on his face almost throughout the entire, this entire episode, guys. And, well, the fuck that doesn't do justice! Doesn't he look scary? And to think, he's the main protag of a sports anime. <laughs> You would normally see this on a villain in a sports anime, but but for uh, for the main protag, no, that's the, this is a rare case. So you can also consider this as a gem of a of a thumbnail. Let's get to the nitty gritty of the episode. Face. Na kakaroon na ng tense moments ang ang episode na to kapag involved si Isagi. Bottom line, because uh, from the events of the pilot, talagang he's in survival mode uh, from that point onwards. This episode is no different. For him to show this kind of a look, talagang kung uh, kung mo kung ginawa nila siya sa inyo, well, the pace will make you realize that he is in survival mode. So. Every time there's a scene involving him, it's tense. I, I always feel tense when I'm around this guy, right? And I'm just watching this anime. <laughs> Am I complaining about it? Absolutely not. That's it. From what I've learned so far, this is both a sports and survival anime. If that, if that doesn't scare you, I don't know what will, guys. For me, for this episode, the pacing was tense, but moderate. Hindi siya slow, hindi rin siya fast na considered. Okay? Basta tense ang pacing ng episode nito. Pero no complaints. Flow naman! First gear shift here was when Isagi couldn't sleep one night. Then he decides to, to train on his own. Tapos sumama sa kanya si... Si Batsira, yung sira ulo. No greater of a gear shift there, folks. Kasi, dito pinagdama ni Batsira that he, uh, that he's being needed by Isagi even though Isagi doesn't realize it yet. And the general thing this gear shift would tell me is this. I'm having trust issues with this Batsira fellow. <laughs> I don't think Isagi should have trusted him yet. Second gear shift was when yeah, that scene showing the, the JFU press conference. Dito na, dito na, dito na binalita sa buong Japan on uh, about the Blue Lock project. No brain of a gearship there, folks. Dahil. Well, it's no longer a secret project. The whole Japan now knows that it has subjected its own youth to this, uh, to, the, to such a ruthless program. You can say that this leadership complicated the entire storyline. Yup, that's the way I see it. The public at large has been informed of its existence. And they're all against it. Final leadership is of course the final scene. Again, no brainer. Kasi, kung titignan ninyo, umpisa na ang sabungan. That's the way I see it, guys. That's the fucking way I see it. Round robin pa, round robin. Now, I am not sure kung single round or double round round robin to. 
Well, don't get wrong. Oh, we're we're in for a uh, we're in for a very brutal agony. So these three dishes that I saw. Panoorin nyo na, ang tatlong gear shift na to, magigets nyo na ang episode na to. Plot wise! Isang word. Malinis ang plot. Oh no! There are some scenes here that you would instantly pass off as um, uh, side stories, back stories. They're only glitchable. Right? They're only glitchable. Kasi! Well, uh, all that or just one to two seconds. Especially yung back story ni, ni Bachira. Right? Uh, but, but I don't think you can call that a back story. Kasi, yeah, this is what is, um, uh, what, this is what he's seeing inside his brain. And I don't think you can call that a side story. Right? Kasi, habang ginakusap niya si, si Isagi, this is what's going on in his brain. Kaya, well, I don't know about you guys, pero sa akin, malinis ang plot ng episode na to. Okay? No side stories or back story, or no legit side story or back story whatsoever. Talagang, nakakonsentrate sa, yeah, the character development of the main protag. Unfortunately, it's coming from, uh, from a character I really don't trust like uh, right now, si Bachira. <laughs> I don't know why this Bachira guy is reminding me of Kasukura, okay? So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. And, making this entire anime a bit more, um, if not a bit more intense, two episodes in palang tayo, eh? Alright, if you haven't seen the pilot. So, Blue Lock, episode 2, no later. We are in for a very psychological sports anime. Right? It's a sports anime. Yep, or what? And, well, it's also a survival anime. If you look at it from from the main protag's point of view and well, there are a lot of mind games going on okay, courtesy of both Ego and Bachira so that makes it a psychological anime Bira ang ang ganitong klaseng mix guys eh well, in all my uh, in all my 44 years right yeah, you know yeah, in all my 44 years as an anime fan, this is the first time I've seen uh, the psychological, the sports, and the survival genres rolled into one anime. First time, guys. That I got already two episodes in. I can say now that um, we got a really unique storyline here. It's not a run of the mill of sports anime, guys. All right. It's not the, it's not in the category of Captain Chubasa or um, or uh, well, rest assured, it's not as um, it's not as ridiculous as Inazuma Eleven. No, it's far from that. Ang tapayan lang natin ang anime nito. And wow, uh, the main guys character development started really early, as early as the pilot, and it continued on in this episode. That's all I can, uh, uh, that's my main observation about it. So again, Blue Lock, Episode 2! 